Well, good evening. We are ready to start a new class. This is video conference 19. And our topic today is vocabulary practice. Right. We have a lot to do. Which is good. Them. We are here. Let's see who connects first today. See the rest of the material for today. We have a lot to do, a lot to do. It's almost time, one more minute to go. Let's hope everybody connects sooner so we can start our interesting class.
see him, let's see. Hello, good evening, Andres. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. That uh, writing the homework. Homework. Okay. Good. Humber. Good. Let's see. You have to describe a person, a place. The, the place that uh, describe um, my house. That's the uh, every space that house. Okay, cool, excellent. Today we are going to work with, uh, well, actually today we have a lot. We are going to talk about uh, jobs, workplace, addresses, directions. We are going to work with some extra prepositions of place. Man, we have a lot to cover today. That's this. Uh, uh, use the there. That is, uh, there are, and the adjectives. Yes. Also. Well, mm -hmm. as I tell you, today we have many different activities. Many, many activities to work on. And it's gonna be fun, actually. So, how was your day? Tell me. Movido. Really? Many things to do? Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, there's Vicente. Hello, Vicente, how are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you tonight? Everything fine? Very good. Ready the for the water, class? The weather fresh. Yeah, the weather. The weather is fresh. The weather fresh, yes. That's great. I'm uh, ready for the class. Excellent. That's the attitude. Hell, thank you, Vicente. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Hello. Very fine. Yeah, perdón. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I said Jenny. Perdón. <laughs> oh, no, Jennifer. Jennifer is very oh. excited for the class. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jenny, tell me, how was your day? I'm fine. Great. Thank you. That's excellent. Excellent. Jennifer, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. That's great. Thank excellent. You. That's the attitude. How was your day, Jennifer? Tired and uh, raining. Okay. Me mojé. No sé cómo se dice eso. Oh, really? <laughs> you yeah. can say, I got wet. I got wet. Because of the rain. Because of the rain. Yeah, the weather has been like that today. Yes. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Jennifer, let me see. Who else is here? There's Mayra. Hello, Mayra. How are you? Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good How evening. are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Great. Excellent. Excellent. So let's see, uh, there's also Ileana, hello, how are you? 
Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Great. Excellent. Hey, there's Marcos. Hi, Marcos. Hello, teacher. Ready for the class? Ready. Okay, excellent. Excellent. That's the attitude. Great, great, great. Let's see. Okie dokes. Well, today... Oh, there's there's Erica. Hello, Erica. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Um, speak. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's bad. Yes. Okay, guys. Let's see. First off, Vicente, homework. Okay, and uh, I described one of the most amazing places in El Salvador. Okay, tell me which I, is. I tell about Quarepec Lake. Okay, great. It is a beautiful place with cool weather at night. There are many restaurants. There are also some hotels. Hotels. And there is and, and there is thermal water where you can swim, take a bath, ride, enjoy a good landscape, and also eat delicious seafood or typical dishes. In conclusion, Corepecale is a great place. Excellent. Thank you. You convinced me. Now I want to go to yes. Pepeca Lake. Are there nice places to visit, like good restaurants? Sorry. Are there good restaurants in Cuarapeque? Uh, the Rancho Alegre, Las Palmeras. Great. La Pampa Cuarapeque. Oh, really? Wow. Good. Yes. Now I have my location for next vacation. Actually, I am taking my son because he doesn't Perfect. know he doesn't know Quarepeque Lake. In my case, I went to Quarepeque like 20 years ago. And I was young Ooh, when last time nice. I went. Yeah, I was young. I was single. Era soltero. That's why. I I yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Hey, there's Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Good, good evening. Good evening, Cesar. Cesar, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Send me your email, please. Okay, for what's up? Yeah, for the information that you need. Okay, excellent. Okay, Thanks. let's see. There's Carlo, there's Anna. Wow, that's nice. Three, six, nine. Every, almost everybody's here. We are just missing who? Daniel. Daniel, yeah. Well, today, guys, uh, Vicente already talked. He was explaining about Cuarepeque, beautiful place. And he says that there are many, there are thermal waters. I didn't know. I didn't know that. It's new for me. Yes, uh, thermal water in los planes, los planes de la laguna. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Thank you, Vicente. Uh, let's see who else is program for today. Uh, Andres, Andres, please. Tell me. What the homework? Uh, that describes my house. Okay, excellent. In my house, the the living room there uh, there is a smart TV. Okay. And it is the most comfortable place in the house. It has an interior garden. Oh. The, there are some trees. 
that yield fresh to the house. Okay. It's comfortable and uh, have with uh, one, a kitchen okay. where we prepare of delicious dishes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Andres. Perfect. Well okay. done. Jennifer. The lady in blue. Hello. Hello. You ready, Jennifer? Yes. Okay, tell me, what are you going to describe? A place, a person? My house. Okay, excellent. Tell me about your house. My house, there are uh, three dining rooms. I have. Oh, okay, one. hold on, hold on. Three dining rooms. Uh, sorry, living room. Okay, great. One dining room. And I have, there are one the living room. Okay. No. Yes, and the, the more comfortable is my garden. Okay. There are flowers and so is this it. Okay, perfect, excellent. So her house, she says, the most comfortable place is the garden. Excellent. Yes. In Andres' case is the the living room. Be bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom is also comfortable. More when we are tired after working, we get like crash. What about you, Vicente? What was the most comfortable place in your house? Um, no sé cómo se dice my... In your house? Yes. You got a, 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 a man. Hold on. I remember that word. Well, it's a little one or a big one? Uh, a wooden one. Es de madera. Le yes. Okay, that's a dock. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you got a beautiful swimming pool, man. You can just jump. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. That's nice. You know, I just got envious of you. Great. Enjoy it. Now let's see who else. Who else? Who else is programmed for today? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Jenny. Jenny, homework. Hello, teacher. Hello. My homework. Yes. My homework. Uh, I will describe a person. Describe. Describe a person. Okay. Hello, Ben. A little bit higher. Okay, yes, we do. Uh, Jessica has okay. brought hair and is long. Okay. Wears a red blouse. Blouse. Uh, blouse black pants and red sandals that fit very well with her blues blouse. and blouse and she likes to dance okay excellent <laughs> well done very well thank you very much carlos hello teacher hello you ready carlos uh, war uh, house Okay, describe it, please. Uh, my my workplace is small. Okay. My workplace is il, il, illuminated. 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 My house is a clean place. Okay, excellent. My house is painted white or white. White, right. It's 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 too hot in my house. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And last but not least, Marcos. Uh, 
Hello. Hello, Marcus. Hello. What What are you going to describe? A place or a person? Um, person. Okay. Uh, puede ser cualquiera. Any person you want. Okay. Uh, my my daughter my daughter 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 my daughter uh, is. Uh, my daughter is little. Okay. Uh, Beautiful, of, of course. Uh, is very, very beautiful. Okay, great. Uh, uh, para decir, me despierta muy temprano. Oh, she wakes me up. Okay. She is. She wakes me up. She wakes me up very early. Yeah, kids are like that, Marcos. She wakes me up very early. Okay, how old is your daughter? How old is she? ¿Cuánto tiene? Uh, hey. Uh, months. 30 months. 30 months. 30 no. months. No. No. 13. Eight. Eight months. Eight, eight months. Eight. Yes. Okay, great. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Now, let's see. The rest of you, remember, this homework is for tomorrow for the rest of you, okay? Like Cesar. And who else? Ileana, Anna. This homework is, in your case, is for tomorrow. Okay? So, let's start with the activities for today. Okay. I do love the attitude, the good attitude that I can see in some faces. I, uh, some are like this right now, but I know that are in the good mood. Yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't worry. Okay, let's see. Look, uh, today our class is called vocabulary practice. Okay. Also, we are going to make a review of vocabulary from the week, but we are going to also get new prepositions, prepositions of place. Okay. So we are going to start, I'm going to start by presenting you a small presentation. We are going to talk about uh, adjectives. We're going to start with adjectives, okay? So let me see, I have many presentations for today. I'm trying to choose the, the best ones. So let me see, we are going to start with this. After this, we are going to talk about direction. Let's see. Jobs. Okay. Let's see. What's his job? Look at the picture. Tell me, what's his job, Cesar? What do you think is his job? He's, he's a constructor. Constructor. Yes. Yes. Builder. Constructor. Builder. Okay. For us, it could be Builder, constructor, or mason. Builder, constructor, or mason. Just that mason is more specific. Mason refers to albañil. Okay? So in that case, could be a builder or a constructor. Let's continue. Let's see. Next goes to Jennifer. 
Let's see what is next. What's her job, Jennifer? Uh, presentadora, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Um, a reporter. A reporter. A reporter, yes. Okay. Jenny, tell me, what's her job? Secretary. Secretary. Thank you, Jenny. A secretary is an office worker, but in this case, we can use both. We can say secretary or office worker, okay? Okay. Let's. Continue. What's her job, uh, Carlos? Police. Office. A police officer. Remember, police officer. police officer. Police officer. Yes, it's a police officer. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, what's his job, uh, Anna? Uh, the doctor. A doctor. Let's see, great, excellent. A doctor. Now, let's see, uh, Andres, tell me, what's his job? A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. Uh -huh. Yes. Great, excellent. Now let's see. Um, Iliana, what's his job? Um, Waiter. 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 Okay, that's a waiter. What's her job? Hold on. Uh, what's her job? Let's see. Uh, uh, um, Erica, tell me, what's her job? Veterinary. Okay. In short, vet is short for veterinary. Okay? Veterinary okay. is correct, but you can also say vet. It's short. Vet. Short. Okay? Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Vicente, tell me what's her job? No sé cómo se dice ama de casa. Let's see. A housewife. 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 Great, excellent. Where does a waiter work? Well, a waiter works in a restaurant, in a hospital, or in an office. Let's see. Uh, Marcos, tell me, where does a waiter work? In a restaurant, in a hospital, or in an office? Sorry, in a restaurant. Okay, thank you very much. In a restaurant, that's right. Where does a doctor work, Anna? In a park, in a bar, or in a hospital? Anna, hello. In a hospital. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's see. Where does a housewife work, Carlos? In a TV studio, at home, or in a building? Uh, in a TV studio. A housewife works at home, es una ama de casa, okay? Okay. Now let's see, 
Where does a police officer work? In a police station, in a veterinary clinic, or in a hospital? Erica, tell me. Perdón, in a police station. In a police station. Great, excellent. Now, please, Cesar, you ask the question. And Andres is going to answer. Okay. Okay, Andres, where does a reporter work? In a TV studio. Perfect, okay. Andres. But now make it bigger, the answer, Andres. A reporter works in a TV studio, okay? Okay. So a, reporter, a reporter works in a TV studio. Excellent. Great. Now, let's see, Jennifer, ask the question to Mayra. Mayra, where does a lawyer work? In a court, in a hospital, or in a university? A, la, a lawyer work in a court. In a court. Let's check it out. Perfect. Thank you very much. Next, let's see. Uh, Ileana, please ask the question to Marcos. Okay. Marcos, where, where does a bet work? Uh, I work. I bet works. I I bet work, and in a veterinary clinic. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Vicente, please. Hello. Ask Anna. Anna, where does a builder work? In a building street, at home, or in a police station? Anna? Ahorita, se escucha. Yes, we yes. heard you. Se escucha. Sí, uh, they were those a uh, builder work in... Uh, uh, um, at home. Okay, look, Anna. A builder works in a building site. Building site. Site, uh, Vicente? Site. Okay, now let's see. Who's missing? Who's missing? Who's missing? Erica, please ask Cesar. Okay. Where does an office work, worker work? Uh, in a school, in a shop, in an office. An office worker work in a in an office. In an office. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Remember, Cesar, an office worker works. Works. Remember, you have to add an S here because it's affirmative, okay? Yes. And we are okay. talking about the third person, look at the auxiliary. So when you answer, you are saying an affirmative sentence, you add the S, okay? That's okay. why we say an office worker works. Okay, thank you, excellent. Now let's talk about your family, guys. Let's talk about the family. What's your mother's job? Let's see, let's see. Mayra, tell me, what's your mother's job? Hello. Hello, repeat. What's your mother's job? And... 
She's a um, modista. A dressmaker. A dressmaker. She is a dressmaker. A dressmaker. Okay, excellent. Excellent. You can see the word in the chat, a dressmaker. Let's continue. Now, let's see. Cesar, what's your father's job? He is a, a chef. He's a chef? Wow. Yes. Excellent. So family reunions are delicious. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. Excellent. Excellent. Now let's see. Jenny, tell me, what's your sister's job? Jenny, hello. Uh, she is uh, an assistant uh, attention the clients in the bank. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see. Uh, we have Vicente, tell me, what's your brother's job? I don't have brother. Oh, really? Okay, tell me, what's yes. your cousin's job? Cousin. Primo. Primo, okay. Uh, he is a um, mecha mechanic. 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 Okay, perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Now, let's see, Ileana, what's your job? My girl. Yep. I am manicured. You are a manicured. Yes. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Now. In my case, I am a teacher. Now, let's see. Those are simple questions. As you can see, we can ask and answer and give information in an easy way, okay? Because in this presentation, we were working with uh, adjectives, actually. Hold on, give me just a second. We were talking first about uh, the occupations, where does a person works, okay? We were, we were talking about the different jobs. We talk about police officers, doctor, a housewife, a, and we talk about the places they usually work. Now, let's see. I have more information for us. Okay, let's see. Give me just a second because I have something else for you. Now we are going to talk about places. We are going to describe some places, okay? And we are going to see a presentation where I'm going to ask for your help to solve little and simple exercises, okay? Now, who's out of the class? Let me check who's this, I think is Mayra. Oh yeah, Mayra. Mayra is gone. Perhaps something happened to her connection. Now, let's see. Let me share with you. Okay, we are gonna see a little chicken. Okay, guys, where is the chicken? Let's describe places, okay? Okay, where is the chicken right there? Cesar, tell me, where is the chicken? Uh, 
Uh, there is hot. Okay, where is that location? What does it look like? Como, ¿Qué lugar es ese? Ah, okay. Uh, in the in desert. In the desert. Let's check. The desert. Let's check. Okay, perfect. The chicken was asking, where am I? And you tell the chicken you are in a desert. Perfect. The desert. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Carlos, tell me. Deserts are dry or wet places. Please say the sentence, the full sentence. This, this are our dry place. Dry places. Dry, dry, dry place. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now tell me, Jennifer. The chicken is asking you, where am I? You are in a bosque. Okay, let's check. Oh, in a village. In a villa. Villa. Yes. Now, es tell me. Villa. Uh, yep. Tell me, Jennifer. Villages are noisy or peaceful places? Uh, village are peaceful, peaceful, peaceful place? Peaceful. Peaceful place? Places. Okay, remember, peaceful means pacifico. Mm -hmm. Or Apacible. Okay. Thank you very much. You say peaceful. Perfect. Peaceful. Okay. Iliana, the little chicken is asking you, where am I? A beach. Uh, Iliana, a beach. A beach. Abish. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. You are in a beach. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, Jenny, tell me, beaches are usually sandy or rocky places? Say the whole sentence, please. Jenny. Sorry, no remember. So this one, uh, beaches are, are usually a sandy place. Okay, beaches are usually sandy places. Great, excellent. Now let's see, Andres, where am I? In the uh, into the wood. Into the woods. Okay, uh, let's okay. see. Yeah, it's the same. You can say yeah. woods or you can say the forest. Forest, okay. That. Okay, remember, in this case, we can use this both words. You can say in the woods, woods, or you can say forest. Okay, it means the same. Significa lo mismo. Okay. Okay. okay, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. Let's see. You are in a forest. Great, excellent. Now let's see. Who's going to help me here? Um, Marcos, please tell me. Forests are dry or wet places? Forests are wet places. Forests are wet places. Okay, let's check. Excellent. Very well done, Marcos. Okay. Let's see. Where am I? Where am I, Erika? I'm city. In a city, okay, let's check. Oh yes, in a big city, excellent. 
Big now city. let's see. Anna, tell me, big cities are noisy or peaceful places? Noisy. Anna. Hello? Yes, tell me, big, Anna. Big cities are, are noisy places. Noisy places. Noisy places. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Vicente, tell me, where am I? Um, you are in Campo. Let's check what you mean. Campo. Oh, in a park. Park, yes. Okay. In a park. Mayra, tell me, please. Parks are beautiful or ugly places? Parks are beautiful places. Parks are beautiful places. Excellent, very much. Now let's see, Cesar, tell me, where am I? You are in a mountain. Okay, in a mountain, let's check. Excellent, Cesar. Thank you. Okay. Now, Cesar, tell me, mountains are hot or cold places? Mountains are cold places. Great. Well done. Okay, this is difficult. Let's see. Jennifer, tell me, where am I? Jennifer. You are a mouse park? Amusement park. Amusement park. Okay. Well, in this case, they say a theme park. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Now, ¿Es lo mismo parque de diversiones? Yes. A theme park, it's a, it's, Actually, a theme park is an amusement park. What's the difference? That a theme park refers to a type of park specifically, one that follows one specific theme, okay? La de, un theme park es un amusement park, es un parque de diversiones. Solo que a theme park se refiere sobre un tema específico, like, uh, uh. like, um, Disney. Disneyland? Yes, Disneyland. It, everything is about Disney. Okay? It's like, uh, what is the other one? Uh, the, these guys from the movies, they got their, their parks. Related. Orlando. Orlando, thank you very much. It's just about one topic. Okay? And actually, that little game that you saw there, it's a roller coaster. That was a roller coaster, okay? Let's continue. Okay, let's see who's going to help me here. And tell me, Liana, theme parks are amazing places or boring places? Theme parks are amazing places. Amazing places. Great, excellent. Well done, well done, well done. Okay. Wow, Jenny, tell me, where am I? Uh, you are in a forest. Mm. Actually, look. In a jungle. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jenny. Now, let's see. Uh, jungles are sunny places or shady places? Let's see who's going to answer. Vicente, tell me, jungles are sunny places or shady places? And jungles are shady places. Jungles are shady 
places. Perfect. Excellent. Now I'm going to uh, make a little pause. Do you know the word shady? Shady refers to a place where you cannot see the sun. Okay. Sure. Jungles, jungles are, they got so many trees and plants that you cannot see the sky. That's why they are shady places. Okay. It doesn't apply cloudy because cloudy refers when you can see the sky and the sky got cloud. No podemos decir cloudy porque cloudy es nublado. Shady is a place where you cannot see the sky. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, terrible, horrible place. Now let's see. Um, tell me, Andres, where am I? That's in garbage. Okay, let's check. Uh, the place where we throw all the garbage is a dump. Um, okay. This word refers to tiradero. Okay, uh, dump. dump. Okay, let's see. Marcos, tell me, dumps are dirty places or clean places? Dumps are dirty places. Dumps are dirty places. Great. Excellent. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Cesar, tell me, where am I? You are in a volcano. In a what? In a... Volcano. Ah, okay. Volcano. Volcano. Okay, yeah, right. Now that's it, that's it's alco addiction. Yeah. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Tell me, Carlos, volcanoes are hot places or cold places? Volcanoes are hot places. Excellent, great. Okay, guys. You see, it was very simple. Just let me check. There was one word that I needed to review with you. I'm trying to remember which one was it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I just remember. There was one word that somebody here told me and And I wanted to explain to you. Okay. Somebody said in the class, I remember that, I don't know who, whom of you said campo. Okay. Now, I guess what you were referring to, I guess it was you, Vicente. That's a campo. Well, it was one of you. Countryside, okay? The countryside. A lo que nosotros acá en El Salvador nos referimos como decir, este, uh, ellos viven en el campo, decimos nosotros. They live in the countryside, okay? Can you see the word in the chat? Countryside. It refers specifically to that. Why? Because if you look in a dictionary, you will find the word field. Field is a camp, but it's where you practice a sport, okay? Like a soccer field. So when you refer to the countryside, you are referring to the rural areas okay remember the countryside is the rural areas what we hear in el salvador call el campo okay but actually the the word 
campo refers to a place where you practice a sport. So what we are referring when we say countryside, it's the rural area. Please remember, let's not get confused with that. Now, let's see. Did you like that exercise, guys? It was good because we practice the vocabulary, no? And you practice yes. asking and answering. Something good that I'm noticing is that you guys are improving your pronunciation. That's excellent. That's very good. Now, let's check a little bit about the, the manual, okay? There's something in the manual that we need to check right now. Let me see. Okay. For tomorrow, we are going to work with exercises, but today, prepositions of place. Now, let's see. Look at these expressions. Where is the park located? It is located among many places. Let's see who can explain me what is the meaning of among. I explained this word. Who remembers? ¿Quién se acuerda qué significa? Nobody? Nobody remembers what's among? Let's see. Uh, Entre. What? Entre. Entre. But in which situation? Well, what about between, Jennifer? What's the difference between among and between? I don't know. Because when we when we have between, it's entry. And among yes. is entry. Remember, between is in the middle of two. Okay? This is this finger is between these two, okay? And when you say among, it's in the middle of, in the center okay. of, okay? Okay. It's more than two. Let's continue, let's continue. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on various streets in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Okay, near. Near means cerca, close. Where is the church? It's located past the school. The church is located past the school. It means al pasar. Or to make it simple, it means después. Exactly. Exactly that. Now, we have some other expressions here. Along. A lo largo de. In front of, we know. Behind. What's behind? Who remembers? Atrás. Okay. Atrás. Yes, excellent. We have next to, between, across, past, under. Okay, guys, please take note. Exercise five, page 46, is for tomorrow. You bring it solved, okay? Exercise five, page 46, you bring it solved. Because you need to go check page 39 in order to solve it, okay? That exercise is for tomorrow. You need to go to page 39 in order to see the map and solve it, okay? So that's homework. Tomorrow we are going to check out the vocabulary. If I forget, please remind me, okay? Si se me llega a escapar, me acuerdo, okay? So let's see, let's continue. Now, as you can see, now we are getting into prepositions of place and we are going to work with them. Remember, I told you yesterday, Yesterday we were like getting vocabulary. Today we are applying the vocabulary, okay? Let's apply it a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Right here, prepositions of place. We're going to talk with locations and directions. Hey, that's Andres driving fast. 
Locations and direction. Where's the supermarket? Let's see, where's the supermarket? Uh, Cesar, tell me. Uh, the supermarket is in the corner. In the corner of. Okay. In, in the, the corner, corner of. Perfect. Or you can say it's around the corner. Al doblar la esquina. Okay. Okay. Around the corner. Now, where's the library? Uh, let's see, Ileana, tell me, where's the library? The library uh, in front. Mm. Let's see. It's okay, it's okay, I understand you. Just, there's just a little bit something. Remember, oh, uh, remember, when we say in front of, we are taking another location as reference. But if I am the person and I want to go to the library, I just have to do what? Cross the street. Okay. I have to cross the street. If I am telling like Cesar, hey Cesar, you need to go to the library. It is across. Okay? Across. It means al cruzar, okay? It's across the street. Okay, where's the hospital, Jennifer? Oh. I just said this word. Hace un ratito dije esta palabra. Across the street, no. Mm, no. Look. Oh, I'm sorry. Down the street. It's down the street. Uh -huh, okay, no. I'm sorry. I was confused with the long. Corner, uh-huh. Okay. Part. When you say along, it means that it's next to. You are walking and it's along the way. When you say down the street, Ahí abajo you, sería. Yeah. al bajar por la calle. Imagine that Caesar is in, in Mas Ferrer. Does it exist? Yes, it exists. Yes. Sí. Okay, Caesar is in Mas Ferrer and Mayra, and he wants to go visit Mayra to her workplace. Okay, and he says, hey Mayra, he calls her, hey Mayra. I want to go to your office, and right now I'm at, I'm at, uh, what's the name of that street? Mm. Paseo General Escalón, okay? I'm at Paseo General Escalón by uh, Redondel Masferrer, Masferrer's Roundabout, okay? And Mayra tells him, oh, you just need to go down the street, like six blocks, I guess, I don't remember, but... He needs to go down the street. Bajar por esa calle. You need to go down Paseo General Escalón. You see? Let's continue. Okay, where's the bank, Jenny? Uh, where's uh, the bank? Is uh, in front of. In front of. Look at this other building related to this Next building. Next to the hospital. Beside. Uh, Next to. Next, Next to, to the hospital. hospital. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Now let's see, Andres. Where's the church? Um, on the street, sobre la calle. It's on the left. It's on the left. According to this person, it's on the left. Okay. Now, this is easy. Tell me, Marcos, where's the restaurant? 
The previous one was on the left. Now the restaurant. What's the opposite of left? On the right. It's on the right. How do I get to the museum? Wow, direction. Go straight on. Go straight on. Okay, you can say go straight on or you can say walk straight on. In this case, both ideas mean exactly the same, okay? If you say go straight on or if you say walk straight, it means exactly the same. Camine recto. That's the way we say we say to the people, no? Siga recto, let's say. Okay? Go, go straight on or walk straight on. Now, look at this one. Turn left. Turn left. Now, this one is turn right. It's across from the school. Across from the school. Okay. How do I get to the police station? Let's see. Cesar, tell me, how do I get to the police station? It's uh, across the movie. The movie theater? Okay. But remember mm -hmm. what the question was. The question was, how do I get? Cuando le dice, how do I get, está diciéndole, ¿cómo llego? It's asking for the instructions. Ah, okay. okay. What's the first instruction, Cesar? Is... Eh, ¿Cómo era la palabra? Eh, It could be... Go, go, go straight. Go straight. Go straight on. Uh, okay. Or uh, you can say, uh, go two blocks. Go two blocks. Uh -huh. And then, uh, then, uh, how is it? Cross, no. Turn. Uh, uh, turn, 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 turn right. Turn right. Uh, and okay. then, and then, and then work uh, uh, one block. Okay, let's see. Go one block, perfect. And? The last one, it's on the left. Across, it's on the left. It's on the left, or you can say it's across from the gas station. Okay, now let's see Jennifer, how do I get to the hospital? Look at the first instruction, Jennifer. Cross the street? No. Okay, let's look. Go to the corner because look, it's already on the block. Como ya está en la misma cuadra, le dice go to the corner. Okay? Then. Cross. Cross right. Turn. Turn. Right. Turn right. Then. Down. To... Go straight on. Siga recto. Go straight on. And it's at the corner of Park Avenue and Oak Street. Okay? Now, let's see, Ileana, how do I get to the stadium? Oh, oh. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. Okay, uh, then. And turn. Turn. Right. right, perfect. Then. Then. Go to 
blocks. Sayyid Ilyana, go to blocks. Okay. And it's on the right, opposite the gas station. You can say opposite the gas station, front. in front of the gas station, okay? In this case, you don't say it's across from because you are not in that side, you are walking on the street, okay? Now let's see, how do I get to the garage? Remember, garage is what we call here a taller. So Jenny, tell me, how do I get to the garage? Look at the first instruction. Uh, go straight on. Okay, go straight on. How many blocks? Uh, two blocks. Two blocks, perfect. Go two blocks. Uh, turn left. Turn left. And then? Left. Uh, it's it at the garage. On the right. On the right. Okay, across from the park. Across on the park. Okay. Okay. This topic is a little bit uh, complex, no? Right. Yeah, because giving the... is many vocabulary. Yeah. When you are asking or giving directions, it's a little bit complex, but the most common words, go straight on, walk straight on, go along the street, okay? The number of blocks, walk for two blocks, okay? Common vocabulary, turn right, turn left, yes. okay? Turn right or turn left. Uh, it's in front of, it's across from, it's opposite, that's very common, okay? It's next to, it's between, or there's another expression also. There you are. There you are. It means, um, ya llegó o allí está ya, okay? There you are. That expression, you can hear it from, uh, uh, what's this called? Uh, Google Maps. They tell you, you arrived to your location or they can also tell you, there you are. Okay? Ya llegó, ya está ahí. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I need to take attendance. Let's mm -hmm. see. Carlos Alberto Menendez. Present. Thank you. Mayra Iliana Corleto. Mayra. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, hold on, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ana Maria Palacios. Present. Thank you. Maybelline Michelle, absent. Erika del Carmen Colocho. She was around, I remember. Okay, Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Okay, thank you. Jose Reinaldo is absent. Claudia Patricia Granados, absent. Andrés Alberto Orellana. Present. Thank you. César Humberto López. Present. Thanks. Jenny Lisette Escobar. Present. Thank you. José Bersolís is absent. Vicente Alexander Reyes. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arturo Montes. Hmm, Daniel is absent. 
Mayra Lisette Valladares. Present. Thank you. Marcos Ivan Martinez. Present. Thank you. Crisia Madeline Herrera, absent. Maybelline Yanira Miral, absent. Carla Ivonne, absent. Julio Alonso, absent. Okay, hold on. Oops. Andres is here. Perfect. Now, let's see. Let's continue. So, as you can see, when we are giving directions, it's a little bit complex. So, let's see. Uh, Cesar, help me out, please. I am at I am at Salvador del Mundo and I need to get to let's make it simple for you to multiplaza. It's just one street, remember. I don't hear you. Sorry, Cesar. Your microphone. I'm sorry. Sorry. Straight on the Alameda Manuel Enrique Araujo. Okay. And continue in the Pan American, in the Carretera Panamericana. Okay. There's, um, a, there's a reference point you can use. Pass. De? Pas de, pas de, de, de Monseñor Romero. The church, Boulevard. remember, remember, you can ah, use pa, the pas, pas de, de, de church, uh, La Ceiba de Guadalupe. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, pass the, uh, no, then uh, turn at the right. And that's it. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Mayra, I am in your uh, I am in your workplace, and I need to get to Plaza Beethoven. How do I do? I go uh, straight on 75 Avenue, sir. South Avenue. South Avenue. Okay. And it's on right, left. Let me see. I go on 75. Mm -hmm. On the left. Left. It's not on the right. Como viene de la 75 Sur. <laughs> Yeah, if I come on 70 North, it's, uh, well, 70 North doesn't have that way. Yeah, you're right. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see, Jenny. Okay, okay Jenny, let me see. I am in your workplace and I am hungry. I want to eat. I need to go to... Uh, Mr. Donuts. How do I get to Mr. Donuts? Paseo Escalón from your workplace. Eh, perdón, al Mr. Donuts y el lugar de partida. De... Your workplace, your office. Ah, okay. Eh, down. Uh, 79 Avenue. Okay. North or South? Uh, North, North, North Avenue. Perfect. Uh, to left. Or left. Uh, go straight on. Okay. Turn left on what? ¿En dónde cruza? ¿En qué calle? Turn left. Uh, on. Strip. On uh, 
Paseo General Perfect. Street. Paseo General eh, go, go straight on. Ok. Eh, go to blocks. Ok. Go to blocks y... It's on my right or on my left? Eh, right. Oh, it's on your right. right. It's on your right. It's on your right. Ok, perfect. It's... Mm -hmm. Now, Vicente, I have a good one for you, Vicente. No. Vicente, look, I have a problem. I went to visit you. I am in your house right now. And I need to go to Tacuba. How do I do, Vicente? Okay. A little bit tricky, uh, a little bit tricky. Me poncho, me poncho teacher. Okay, I need to get to El Congo. Uh, El Congo. Go try on. No sé cómo se llama esa calle. Eh, well, straight. The road to the road to Coatepeque's Lake, that's the name of the street. The road to Coatepeque. Okay. Go straight on. They go to Coatepeque's Lake. Coatepeque Lake. On the way to Panamericana, and, remember. Um, on the way to Panamericana. Past. Okay, past. On the bus and, ¿cómo se dice desvío? Uh, that's the crossing. The crossing to Cerro Verde or Sonsonate. Okay, perfect. And go straight on. Uh, and uh, pass, well, gasolinero, ¿cómo se dice gasolinero? Gas station. Pass gas station DLC. Okay, perfect. Turn left. Excellent. And go straight on. Pass to Solsticio, Pampa Cuarepeque, and there you go. Okay, excellent. It was tricky, no? It was a little bit complex. Yeah, for Tacuba, you need to turn. Yes. You need to turn after El Congo. Yes. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is going to get a good one? Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Jennifer, you live in Aguilares, no? Yes. Okay, Jennifer, easy. Easy, very simple. I went to visit you in your house. Okay? Okay. And I am not in a car. I am try. I am traveling by bus. Okay. I went to your house and I need to go hurriedly to Apopa. How do I do? How do I get to Apopa from your house? And you take. Uh, I am walking. Remember. Uh, sorry. I am in your you house can... right now. You can walk. Es caminando. Yes, walk straight on. You can, you can walk and turn the corner to the. Oh. Take the corner to the right. Okay. You can cross the street. Okay. And you take a bus. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, when I cross take, uh, when I cross the street, uh, I am in the bus stop. Yes. Okay. Then tell me, at the bus stop, take. At the bus stop, you can take a a bus number one hundred seventy. Okay, you uh -oh. say the number of the bus and you say route. Okay. Good. You Good. can take um, one seventy-two. You said 
172 roots. Okay. And then, where do I get down? Because I don't know where a popa is. I just know that I need to get there. Where okay. do I get down? You. Eh, en la naranjos. Okay. At, at, remember, at, at los naranjos. At los Okay. So remember, you say, take the bus and you give the instructions. Get down at. Those are the instructions. Get down at. No. Los naranjos. Okay. She's, tell, she's telling me, bajese in. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You can get down in los naranjos. Okay. That's right. Let's see. Iliana. Iliana, I have the same problem. I am in your workplace. And I need to go to, let's see, you are in Presidente, no? Sí. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. I am in your workplace. I am walking. I am taking a, I am taking a bus, okay? And I need to get to Salvador del Mundo. How do I do? I walk. I I take bus train by thirty three. Thirty three B. Okay, hold on. Remember, <laughs> if I am in your workplace, I have to go down the street because it's going down. Recuérdese que ahí es al bajar la calle, ¿no? from your workplace. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I go down the street. Um, I, cross down. The, I cross the street in the roundabout. Remember, en el redondel, cruzo la calle. There's the bus stop. I take 30B route at the bus stop. Okay? And I get down from 30B, where is the 30B? Uh, let's see. 30B goes all the way down to sure. La Campana, if I'm not mistaken. Yes? Yes. And you tell me, get down at La Campana. Remember, it's important if we are in a position, remember if you say, go up or go down. Like in Jenny's case, from her job to Mr. Donuts, I have to go up uh, Paseo General Escalón. In Ileana's case, I have to go down to the roundabout, okay? It is just like one block, no, two blocks, because it's your job, your workplace, I get the corner from Pomodoro, the next corner, yes, it's two blocks in order to get to the roundabout. When we are giving instructions, it's important that you try to remember that vocabulary. And it's a little bit complex because we don't usually use it. But imagine that you are in the United States and you ask an American for instruction. They're going to tell you, okay, go down the street, walk straight on, turn left, turn right. It's a cross from, okay? So, be careful to remember that vocabulary. It's very important that we try to remember, okay? What you can do is when you are like driving, take notice of the streets, try to think about how would you explain that those directions. Imagine that Caesar is in a traffic jam, he's driving, at that moment he can practice, okay? I am in this street, to get there, I need to go down how many blocks. That way we can practice because that vocabulary is not commonly used here. I mean, even if you have the opportunity to use English here in El Salvador, that type of vocabulary is not commonly used. Aunque nosotros tengamos la oportunidad de hablar en inglés con alguien acá en El Salvador, 
ese tipo de vocabulario no lo usamos comúnmente. So, in order for you not to forget it, you need to practice it. Create your own situations. Create sus propias situaciones. Otherwise, the problem is that when you really need it, you will have forget. Cuando realmente lo necesite, lo va a haber olvidado. So you need to practice it. Create your own situations where you can apply it. That's very, very important. It's like, imagine, I ask Mayra, Mayra, how do I get to any centro from your house? She starts, she needs to start giving me instructions. Okay, take this bus, go to the corner, take this bus, and wait until you pass uh, this other place, and after the turn around, there you are. You see, you need to Try to locate yourself in one position and imagine you are giving instructions to someone else. That's the only way you are going to remember this vocabulary. Otherwise, it's easily forgotten. Si nosotros no tratamos de crear las situaciones en las cuales podamos utilizar este vocabulario, se olvida muy fácil. And I mean, for real, believe me, in my case, I forget words because I don't use it. I don't use them. A mí se me olvidan muchas palabras, no las uso. So in my case, I need to be practiced. I read uh, English literature in order to practice. Because there are many words that I don't commonly use because I teach. And according to the levels I'm teaching is the type of vocabulary I'm using. So there are plenty of words that I sometimes forget that I need to make an effort to remember. In order for you not to be in that situation, you need to practice continuously, okay? Every situation in your daily life, it's an opportunity to practice. Cada situación de tu vida diaria es una oportunidad para practicar. Every situation. And don't make it complex. Just use the vocabulary you know. No lo haga complicado, solamente utiliza el vocabulario que conoce. But... Try to apply it to different situations. How so you say? Okay, it's very simple. You say, start, try to think, to talk to yourself in English. Okay, you wake up in the morning and you wake up and you say, okay, I have to get up. Then to take a shower. After to have, to get dressed. Then I need to have breakfast. I have to say bye to my wife, to my husband, to my kids, okay? I have to drive to my job. I have to go to my workplace. I have to take the bus. So you see, every single day, there are plenty of opportunities for you to speak in English. If you don't have somebody else to do it, talk to yourself. On your mind, try to make the sentences. Okay? And in the case like Cesar and Andres, it's easy. You, you write together. You can practice little words. Okay? You can make a daily exercise. The ones, the ones of you who have little kids, you can talk to your kids. You can also help them, give them instructions, okay? And step by step, you are going to be, I mean, the use of that vocabulary is going to, co to become easier for you. Y poco a poco, el uso de ese vocabulario se va a volver más fácil. Because you are using it, putting it, putting it into practice. But that's important, that's mandatory. Es una obligación. We need to practice it on our own. Nosotros solo en in some cases, because some of you perhaps have the opportunity to practice with somebody else, but some of you don't. Algunos quizás tengan la oportunidad de practicar con alguien más, but some of you perhaps don't have that opportunity. Algunos quizás no tengan esa oportunidad. So, create the situations that will let you practice. I mean, believe me, that's what I do every day. Yo lo hago. Even though in my house I have I have two more persons who can speak English. 
I need to practice more because they they speak it, but they don't teach it. So I need to remember more vocabulary. So do it, guys, and believe me, it works. Y créanme, funciona. Funciona. So like next time somebody, I'm sure that next time somebody asks Vicente, hey, Vicente, tell me how do I get to Tacuba? He will remember that he already knows that vocabulary. Next time that somebody asks him, imagine there's a tourist and ask Vicente, hey, Vicente, I'm sorry, how, how do I get back to the street? Oh, I need to get to El Congo. He can give the instruction. And that will happen. <laughs> he will end up inside the lake. Be careful. Don't send them into the lake, okay? Okay, so you can see, it's simple. And, uh, and what I'm giving you, it's a... Uh, it's a very useful tip. It works for sure. Créanme, este consejo sí funciona. I use it a lot, all the time. Yo lo uso todo el tiempo. And it works for me. Because uh, there are many words that I know that I need to be remembering and remembering. Because I don't use all the vocabulary I know with you. And remember, the acquisition of the vocabulary is not just to to know the word. That's just the acquisition, but you always need to apply the vocabulary. El vocabulario necesita ser aplicado in order to be understood and saved in your mind. De manera que se entienda y se quede grabado. You need to apply it, not just to get it. If you just get a list of verbs, it doesn't work. Si usted se aprende una lista de verbos, it doesn't work. As long as you don't apply them, you will forget them. Si usted no los aplica, no le va a funcionar. You need to apply them all the time. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. That was the, the big uh, speech. Ese era el discurso. Okay, okay, let's see. Let me see if it's this, this, this. Because we have another activity. Right now, you are going to talk to each other. Let's see. Okay, do you know what is a postcard? Do you know what's a postcard? Yep, exactly that, a postcard. Okay, we are going to see a postcard right now. Are going to watch a postcard and we are going to make a small exercise starting with it. Okay? Let's see. Rio de Janeiro. A beautiful place, no? A big city. A pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look. Hi, Sam. We are having a fantastic holiday. We are in Rio de Janeiro. It's the most beautiful city in Brazil. It's located in the northeast of the country, but it's not the capital. The capital of Brazil is Brasilia. In Rio, there are beautiful beaches. At the moment, we are visiting the Corcovado. The view is amazing. We're staying at the Copacabana Palace Hotel, the most traditional the city. I love Rio. See you soon. Jonah. It is sent to Samuel Thompson, 17 Western Street, Los Angeles, California, USA. Okay. Look, it says, Hi Sam, we are having a fantastic holiday. We are in Rio de Janeiro. It's the most beautiful city in Brazil. It's located in the northeast of the country but it's not the capital. The capital of Brazil is Brasilia. In Rio, there are beautiful beaches. At the moment, we are visiting the Corcubad. The view is amazing. We are staying at the Copacabana Palace Hotel, the most traditional in the city. I love Rio. See you soon, Jonah. Okay, questions about the vocabulary, guys? Preguntas por el vocabulario? 
No question? Let's see. Holiday. Do you know what it's holiday? Fiestas. Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah, this is. Where is Corcovado? Oh, it's a place. It's a place. Yes, it's, it's the name. Sure. Yeah, it's the name of a place. It's a Cristo. Yeah, it's, Corcovado, it's where the it's where the big statue is. Cristo Negro. No, no, no. That's the the, the, <laughs> the big one that is in the in the mountain. The grandote que está en la montaña. Okay. Okay, guys. So, right now, what you are going to do is very simple. You are going to work in pairs. You are going to talk about places that you have visited. Okay? And you are going to describe one place to your classmates. Okay? Imagine that you are, like, doing that. You are... Uh, imagine that you are writing a, a postcard to your classmates. Okay? If you saw in the in the in the postcard there was a lot of information about the place. So that's what you're going to do. Just use simple present. Okay? You can use simple present or perhaps continue if you know that that uh, that topic. But what you're going to do, what I want you to do is to describe one place, one touristic place. I'm sorry, Vicente, you cannot explain no more. Uh, what the peck is like. You did already at the beginning of the class. Another place, okay? Another place that you have visited. Okay, you ready, guys? Do you understand? Entendemos la actividad? Lo divido en parejas y usted lo que va a hacer es describirle a su compañero un lugar turístico que usted ha visitado, okay? Any place. It could be like a, a, a how do you call it? A, some swimming pool, okay? A water park, un, Balneario. could be a water park, it could be a mountain, okay? Any place that you have visited. If you have gone to another country, perfect, even better. Si había viajado otro país, even better. You can explain something like that, okay? Ready, guys? Ahora sí? Okay, let's do it. Let's see groups. Okay, let's do it. You got the invitations already. Get in the groups, please. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any place that you have visited? Okay, I I I start. Okay, Myra. Hello, Myra. Oh. Does lady does the does lady first? Ladies first. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Antigua Guatemala. Oh. Is a place with tradition. Okay. The people wear typical clothes. Okay. Clothing. Um, the streets are made of piedra. Cobblestone. Of stone. Cobblestone. Yeah. Cobble. Yes. Cobblestone. Cobble. Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Yes, continue. In the wedding is cool.
The weather. The weather is cold. Cold. That's all. <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, okay. actually, just just uh, to clarify something. Remember, we have cobblestone could be cobblestone could be pavimentado or uh, empedrado. Empedrado. No, empedrado is paved. Yes, that was paved. 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 Yeah, but, but you say, okay, hold on, hold on, Cesar. Uh -huh. Paved stone, okay. Uh -huh. Cobblestone is when the 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 cuando es piedra suelta a guijarros. Por calle por bosa, algo así. No, could be like no, that's dusty, dust road. Cascajos. Uh -huh. Guijarros. Actually, cobblestone. It's closer to say guijarros. We call it here like a, like cascajo, the, the red one, okay? That's cobblestone. But the other one is paved stone. Paved stone. Yes, empedrado. Okay, thanks. Okay, and I, I visit the, the city of Apa. Vaya, pero es un lugar cada uno, Lindia, apurémonos. Ok. Eh. Anita. Ay. Ay. Quiero ver. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Al cruzar. En inglés. Al cruzar. The rock. No, the rock. Rajada, no sé cómo se dice. Peña rajada. La peña rajada. Entonces. Crack. Crack. The crack. Rock stone. crack. No, the crack okay. stone crack. or the crack. Rock. Yeah. The crack, eh, pero peña rajada es. The crack stone. The crack stone. Yes. Y, y este, I feel a little, eh, no sé, miedo. Scare. No siento un poco de miedo. Scare. Scare. Eh, por... Because la, 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 of... Uh, because... Of the height. Of, of the height. Because of the I was very excited height. to cross the, the, the rock. Where is it? Italy. What? Italy. Oh. Up there. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know what? I have slept there in a hammock. Yo ahí fui a dormir en la hamaca. ¿Cómo soportó ese frío? Oh, delicious. It's very delicious. Yeah, it's I love. Delicious. Okay. What about Marcos? Where mm. have you gone? Uh, for my world. I have visited all the countries of Central America. Oh, really? Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, only, only Colombia to the capital, Bogota. Uh, beautiful clima. Weather. Clima, weather. What else? Uh, only they call uh, uh, okay ready teacher ready finish <laughs> yes okay yes. just just give me a few minutes that right now like in the other group marcos is talking about colombia uh, teacher 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 yes, uh, how how do you say murales 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 como los, los que hacen los que hacen que las paredes dibujan Ay. pintura okay let me see what you mean like uh, like the mm. graffiti 
the graffiti is different. I mean, a mural is a mural. Mural, just like that. Mural. Yeah, that's a mural. Okay? A graffiti is graffiti. That's different. Graffiti, actually. Graffiti. Graffiti is different. But you mean a mural, where they paint a long wall and they make decoration, stuff like that? That's a mural. Okay. Graffiti, okay. graffiti is a different type of art. I mean, there are nice graffitis, very nice graffitis. There's yeah. one, yeah, there's one, uh, I mean, I used to, I used to watch some images. You know, there's a guy that paints graffitis that you can, he paints with spray, normal spray, red, uh, red, blue, and black, I guess, but if you get 3D, if you get glasses like uh, real glasses, you see one image. If you put blue glasses in the same space, you see a different drawing. That guy is amazing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I saw in, his... in the in the in the round about the Don Rua in front. Oh yeah, many, right? there's there's there's. There's many, yes. There's so, many. Yeah, and I mean, uh, there are some that are big, like, uh, what was the name of this guy? Bansky, if I'm not mistaken. I, I used to watch a lot, a lot of that. Okay, just let me check the rest of the groups, okay? I'll be back in a second. Okay. okay. So, no, no, no. Sushi, Toto. Ready? No, Listos? Great. I think. Okay, Suchitoto. Ah, I don't like Suchitoto. <laughs> it's, it's hot picture. Yeah, it is very hot. Sí. That's what I don't like. It's too hot. <laughs> okay, just let me check the other group. I just went to Guatemala and to Costa Rica for a capacitation, but also training, training, training. <laughs> Training. <laughs> you know, whenever I get here, Jenny, you are speaking in Spanish? Come on. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the main room, guys. Okay. Okie dokie, we are just waiting for one group. And Carlos hasn't disconnected yet. Just a few seconds, Carlos here. And in a few seconds, they are going to come. They are going to be obligated to come here. So let's see. So Marcos, you were in Colombia, you told me. Yes. Uh... Um, so you have traveled from Guatemala to Colombia, the whole Central America. Yes, yes. Okay, tell me about Colombia. Mm. Bogota. Bogota in beautiful mountain. Okay. Uh, uh, and cool, cool weather. Weather, weather, cold, only day. Uh, mm, uh, woman, beautiful. Oh, beautiful woman. Okay, that's nice. Mm. That's nice. Mm. Yeah, and Ileana says full, like, ah. Full, 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 delicious. Oh, delicious, full. Remember, delicious. the adjectives goes different okay. in english delicious food delicious food and how many in... days did you stay there how many days did you stay in bogota cuántos días estuvo 
Ten. Ten. Ten days. Oh. Ten days. Yeah, a lot. Okay, thank you very much, Marco. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's see, Jennifer, tell me. Yeah. The Trifinius Park is so beautiful. Okay. You can enter enter to 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 Metapa. Okay. And you can there are so many trees, the weather is cool. Um there are uh, garden to the orchids, the orchids kids. garden. Orchids garden. Orchids. Orchids garden. ¿Cómo se dice variedad? A variety. A variety of orchids. So beautiful. A variety of orchids. A variety of orchids. And in the garden, orchid, he passed the river. The river? Okay. The river. And... So beautiful place. You okay. can go. Excellent, excellent. That's El Trifinio. Yes, this is El Trifinio. Okay, great. Mayra, tell me, tell me about a place, please. Okay. In Antigua, Guatemala. Okay, tell me about Antigua. Okay. It's it's a play with tradition tradition. Okay, with a lot and of And people, people wear typical clothing. Okay. And the streets are paved stone. Okay. And the weather is cold. Okay. Tell me, did you buy anything there? Did you buy what? souvenirs? Yes. I buy and t shirts. Okay, I bought. And I bought. Uh, bought and I I bought um, llaveros. No sé. Okay. Key rings. Key rings. Yes. Um, key yeah. rings. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a second. Key rings. Like this. Key rings. Key rings. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, excellent, thank you. Now let's see, uh, Carlos, tell me. Uh, hello, uh, Isalco Cabaña Club. Okay, tell me about Isalco. Uh, very cool. Okay. Uh, there are palms trees. Okay. Nice beach. Okay. Uh, swimming pool. Swimming pool. Uh, good food. Okay, great food, excellent. Uh, only. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see, Andres. Tell me. That uh, the I visit the Ikal City. That's okay. great. No okay, Tikal. Perfect. Tell That's me about a beautiful, it. beautiful place. Uh, I am fan of the, the culture Maya. Okay, the Maya culture. The Maya culture. Culture. Uh, culture. 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 Okay. The did Maya you, culture. Did you go up the pyramid? Yes. The, it's the, clear. It's clear when you look down. Uh, that and do, uh, go the the pyramid the number pyramid. five pyramid number five. Okay, that's the name. The that's pyramid. There's some inclination that more the uh, twenty-five grade degrees degrees. Yeah. Uh, that don't set on 75 mats, sorry, in Nivero OC. 
the level of C or C mm. level, C level. C level. Yeah. Uh, okay, thank you, Andres. Yeah, in that yeah. place, I have one friend that went down the stairs sitting down. Tengo un amigo que bajó sentado a las gradas because the inclination is very high. Some people yeah, get... My friends, my friends, <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> yeah. my friends, the same. And the same. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Vicente, tell me. Okay. And talk about Cerro Verde. Okay. It is a beautiful place and there is a mountain hotel. Okay. And uh, there are also hikes to the Ilamatepec volcano. Volcano. Volcano and Isalco volcano or to the Crystal House. Okay, yeah. Uh, the Cerro Verde is a quiet place and a uh, cool water. Water. Weather. Weather. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jenny, please tell me. Okay. Uh, um, El Pital Mountain. Okay. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Excellent weather. Right. It is located in the high part of El Salvador in Chalatenango. It's the highest part. Is the is the highest part or of El Salvador in Chalatenango. Okay. There are flowers and fruits that only grow in the cold weather. In the cold weather, weather, eh, con car, eh, cartuchos. Why se dan flores, cartuchos blancos. Mm, I, allí. Don't, I don't know what's that, what what you really mean like that. Cartu the cartridge, uh -huh, white, no sé, son cartuchos blancos, son unas flores que se dan solo ahí, que se dan ahí por los lados. Es la monja blanca también creo que se llama. No. Yeah, but that's cartridge. It's, cartridge. it's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I will look yeah. for the word for for flowers, because I know that cartucho is a cartridge. Uh-huh, cartridge, white but, cartridge. Yeah, but I've used that word related to guns, not to not to flowers. I will look it up. La voy a buscar, okay. because I have never, I have okay. never seen it, okay? Thank you, Jenny. Sí. Yeah, it's okay. a beautiful place. Thank you very much. Anna, please tell me. Hello. Yes. Um, met Metapan. Okay. Metapan. It is Monte Cristo. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, beautiful. Uh, es todo uh, river. It's okay. a cerro. River. En clima cool. Super okay. cool. A cool uh, weather. Cold. A cool weather. Cold. A cold. Cold weather. Weather. Thank you. Weather. Um, um, garden. Uh, muchas flowers. Many flowers. M many flowers. Many. Many flowers. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice puente? Bridge. Bridge. Hay un puente de Jamaica. Bridge. Que... bridge. Okay, there's a bridge. Okay, thank bridge. you very much, Andy. Anna. That's enough. That's Andy. enough. Thank you. So, let's see who's last. Uh, who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? Eliana? You explained to me already? Okay, please, Eliana. I visited the root, the flower. I visited. I visited the root flower 
The eh, flower's root. The flower root. Apaneca. Okay, tell me about it. It's a beautiful place. What I I have I have more the church. Okay, you went to the church. Um, and Guayua is in Guayua your day full. Oh yeah, good. That's great. A lot of food in Guayua. Okay. Only okay, thank you very much. Cesar, please. Okay, I tell you. I will about, tell you. I will tell you about uh, Apaneca. Okay, tell me about Apaneca. Uh, it is in Aguachapan. Okay. The weather is cool. Okay. It's a beautiful place. The streets uh, are paved stone. Paved stone. And there is the gastronomic festival. Okay, great. With uh, with uh, good food oh. and many many vari variety. 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 And there are many murals. Okay, excellent. Tell me, what's your favorite food when you got there? Uh, the the meat and the and the seafood. Okay. What about the yaca? Yaca. Yuca. Ah, yuca. Yes, yes. Yaca. Yaca. In 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 Salcuatitan. Oh, really? It's good. It's good. Okay. Yes. Well, excellent, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, for the next activity, please. Cesar, do your presentation. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's my turn. Hello, everybody. My name is Cesar Lopez. I'm 34 years old. I am an, an industrial engineer. I have been working at Payway Inversiones for a year and, and a half. Uh, I am an elevator sale, sales advisor. I serve clients of industry and construction, selling equipment such as elevators, uh, highs, hydraulic platform, etc. In my schedule on a normal work day is the next 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I wake up. Uh, 7:40 I go to my work. At 8, 8 a.m. I start activities checking emails, calling my clients, and then I go out to visit clients and projects. At noon, I take my lunch and then I rest. Uh, at, at 3 p.m., I have a coffee. Uh, 4 p.m., I prepare sales goods. 6 p.m. I leave I leave my work. I go to my house. I live in Colonia La Cima, San Salvador. I have a daughter, a daughter. Her name is Daniela. She is seven years old. Uh, I'm married. My wife is a lawyer and her name is Marielos. I have been married for 10 years. My house is small. There are two two bedrooms, bedrooms, a separate living room, dining room, and and the kitchen. There is a garden with plants. I like them plants, and I have two two dogs. Their names are Gomita and Charlie. And 
In my free time, I like to play guitar and bass, play with my daughter, and watch movies and series. Only. Okay, great, excellent. Well job, man. It was well done, excellent. Okay, listen. Half. 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 Etc. Half. Etc. A cup of Et coffee. Cetera. You don't say I have a coffee. You say a I have a cup of coffee. Okay. Remember bedroom. 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 And guitar. No guitar. Guitar. Okay. G guitar. guitar. Like that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well done. Ileana, you're next. Thank you. Okay. I am Mayriana Corleto. I was born in the city of Santana. I live in Col Colonia Montserrat of the San Salvador. I am married and we have children. And I am four years old. In my live life near my house, I wake up at 7 a.m. and then breakfast at 7 15 a.m. and then the company transport pickups to take off the hotel to start to work. I am manicurist and my work is the pink song. That's at the end of the Revolution Avenue, the Sheraton Presidente Hotel, next to the President Theater. And where we were more than two homes Council people in my world are there are many nice police. In my world are there are many deaths and there is a bad one. There is a chicken. There is a television. There are many security cameras. I left work at 5 p.m. I get home to make dinner. Uh, then I wash the dishes. And finally, I have English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And this to sleep. Okay. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> Listen, Meryl. 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 Have breakfast. We don't say I breakfast. We say I have breakfast. The transport from the company pick us up. I will write that expression. Pick us up. Okay? The group nos recoge. And tether, tether. Okay? The present tether. And now, Ileana, you sell chicken instead of kitchen. Be careful. Me dijo pollo en lugar de cocina, okay? And cameras, cameras, cameras. And in the end, leave work, leave work. Okay, let's see, we still have time for one more. The rest, I'm sorry. Tengo tiempo solo para uno más. Mayra, please. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Mayra Lisette Valladares. I am 30 years old. I live in Soyapango, Las Margaritas. I have two sisters. My younger sister is Lillian, and my other sister is Janira. Janira has a daughter. Her daughter's name is Maggie. Uh, she is 
three years old. Her last name is Echeverria. Her pets are two chickens. I work in Grupo Satellite and I am an accountant. I make checks, review and send emails. I get the report of input and output. My day usually starts at 5 a.m. I wake up and I take a shower every day. I leave home at 6 a.m. I drive to work and my check-in of work is at 8 a.m. I have lunch at noon. I have a meeting with my boss every day in the afternoon because I explain the bank book to her. The name, the name of my boss is Carolina. She is friendly and respectful. In my office, there is a printer. There are three phones. There are many folders. And there is a cabinet for amps. My favorite food is a Chinese food because I like the tetas and quality of the chicken and vegetal. My specialty is orange chicken. My favorite restaurant is Panda and it is located on the opposition corner of El Salvador del Mundo and is in front of McDonald's. Okay, thank you. Oh, by the way, thank you, Mayra, and thank you, Ileana. I'm sorry, I, it's not that I forgot, Ileana. It was just that I was excited. Okay, very well done, Mayra. Excellent pronunciation. Just remember, my boss's name. You can say the name of my boss, but you can say my boss's name, okay? Okay. Then, Mayra, you say three phone, plural, three phones. Okay, taste. You like the food because of the taste. Mm -hmm. Vegetables. Vegetables. And it's not the opposition. The opposition is like in politics, the opposite corner. Okay, the opposite <laughs> corner. Anna, I'm sorry, you stay for tomorrow. Lo siento, Anna. Mañana, por favor, because of the time. Hey, guys. Thank you very much. I am very glad of this exercise. Me ha agradado mucho lo que estoy viendo en este ejercicio. Eh, excellent work, okay? I hope, I am sure that tomorrow is going to be the same. Estoy seguro que mañana será lo mismo. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, a question uh, that the... La encuesta de la disque mañana, la, mañana la vamos a hacer la, la encuesta. Ajá. Mañana, como... a las, mañana a las 9 de la noche vamos a tomarnos un tiempito para cualquier duda. Ok. Y ah, la podemos okay. realizar en ese momento. Ok. No worry. Okay. Nice. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. good night. Ok, excellent. Have a good night.